On Friday, March 14th, Habitat for Humanity of Newcastle County held an art auction to raise awareness and funds for their building operations, thanks to a generous donation from Elisa and Dick Poole. But how did a philanthropic contribution of this magnitude come to be a reality? Well, it's a remarkable story. Um, it started with the vision of uh, Annabelle Cressman and Judy McCabe, who came up with the idea that every one of our homeowners should have the joy of looking at art in their home. So they started with uh, collecting art from their friends, and the whole thing grew from there. I got a group together of people in the community, all people, either artists or collectors or executive directors of art agencies, and asked them for some advice. And one of my friends told me to invite Dick Poole. And I knew Dick was ill, and I said, are you sure I really should ask him? And she said, yes, ask Dick Poole. So I did, and Dick came, and I'm, we're brainstorming what to do, and he said, I'd like to donate 125 original pieces of art to Habitat for an auction. And we all just dropped our teeth, nobody could talk, and when we got ourselves together, we said, we can do this. We've never done an auction, we didn't know what we were doing, but we said, we'll figure it out. Lisa and I have been collecting art for over 50 years and uh, with health problems we were starting some estate planning and we thought that it would be a good idea to contribute a hundred of our some 500 pieces in our collection and have an auction. It uh, is so exciting and uh, I had good news uh, on my health front earlier in the week so I have a double reason to celebrate. It's unique in many ways. It's unique because it brings together the, the world of art uh, and all its beauty and inspiration with Habitat for Humanity, which is different for us. But we have our own version of, of, of beauty and inspiration, and that's in our ability to, to build homes and build communities and, and find people a decent place to live. This is a, a tremendous night for Habitat. Uh, not only just the donation of the 110 original pieces of art, but all the people in our community who are going to be here who may have never heard about Habitat. So they're going to have a small introduction to Habitat, Hopefully they're going to want to learn more and from there we can engage them in, in lots of different ways to help us grow and do what we do. With the sponsors who have stepped up tonight uh, have, have made it possible that 100% of all the proceeds that we, we take in tonight from the auction, auctioning of the art will go back into building homes. That's a remarkable accomplishment, 100% of every dollar. Well, the sense I get that there's a, the huge support for it locally. I mean, everybody knows Dick, he's, he's done a lot for the community. I think they really want to give something back. And I, I understand there's been a, a great response to tonight's auction in terms of numbers and people wanting to turn up and be supportive. So I think that's a great testimony to him. And, uh, but also to the charity too. I'm sure a lot of these people are aware of the good work that they do and, and they really just want to be supportive of it. It's unusual for a charity like this to have as many lots. Usually we might do five to 10 lots. So 100 lots is quite <laughs> it's, it's, it's going to be a tall order, but we'll, we'll get through it, it'll be fun. The other thing about this story is it just highlights that there's lots of ways to give to Habitat. We never know how somebody can help us, whether it's donating material, donating cash, or in this case, something very prized that they, that they already have in their walls. To learn more about how you can get involved with Habitat for Humanity, you can visit www.habitatncc.org.